on their car insurance by switching to Geico. They may even make you their best man. May I have the rings, please? Ah, Heldsburg Diamonds. Nice choice, mate. And now, in the presence of these guests, we join this loving couple. Oh, dear. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. If you think running a restaurant is hard, try running four. Fortunately, we've got ink. It gives us five times the rewards on our internet, phone charges, and cable, plus at office supply stores. Rewards we put right back into our business. This is the only thing we've ever wanted to do. And ink helps us do it. Make your mark with ink from Chase. The so-called three amigos of the Synod aren't agreeing on Ambassador Susan Rice and whether she is qualified to be Secretary of State. Senators John McCain, Joe Lieberman, and Lindsey Graham spoke out on the topic with CNN's Piers Morgan last night. Lieberman parted with his friends and defended Rice, while McCain said she deserves a chance if she's ever nominated. I don't know if she's even nominated or not. She deserves the process that every nominee goes through. There are now additional concerns about her role as far as Africa is concerned. But the fact is she not only gave wrong information, but she gave the, the party line that, uh, uh, for example, that al-Qaeda is decimated. Al-Qaeda not, is not decimated. All right, so joining us now are CNN contributor and Democratic strategist Maria Cardona and Republican strategist John, Ron Bonjean. Before I get to my question, no, that's all right. We'll move on. I'll ask this. <laughs> I, 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 just, I mean, Ooh, is intrigue. it me? Is it me, or does it appear that John McCain becomes more grumpy, grumpier over time? He's just—he's like the neighbor, the guy when you put the ball in the neighbor's yard. And he's like, "Hey, get out of my yard, kid." <laughs> am I wrong with that? Is am I the only one who notices that, John? Well, uh, this is Ron, and no, Ron, I... Ron, rather I, sorry. I, I, no, that's okay. I, I'll tell you, I, I think that uh, Senator McCain makes some very, very good points about Susan Rice. And look, I think he's clearly frustrated by, you know, her comments that were made. Um, I think he's frustrated about the fact that she came to Capitol Hill and wasn't able to convince him, nor uh, Senator Lindsey Graham or Kelly Iote, or Senator Susan Collins, that uh, she would be uh, a good nominee uh, to be Secretary of State. So, you know, I think that's what you're hearing in his voice right now is, is a lot of frustration. Well, well, I'm not only talking about this particular issue. I'm glad you're, you're getting into the, we're, we're going to get into meat of that, but I'm just talking about other issues. Fiscal cliff and on and on and on. Wow. It just appears that. So, listen, now to you then. You heard what McCain, you referred to Africa. Um, some criticize Rice for being sympathetic to African leaders who have been connected to atrocities. How will that factor into a possible um, nomination, Maria? Well, I think it will certainly become an issue of discussion. But look, what has been written thus far about her role and her, con her supposed connections to leaders in Africa is, is very nuanced and I think very biased. And so I think if she is nominated, and we have to remember she has not been nominated yet, then this needs to be an issue where she's given a chance to actually discuss it. It needs to be discussed in a fair manner, in an unbiased manner. Africa, as we all know, has had a very complicated and tortured past where a lot of times when we have to choose allies, there are no good choices to make, and everybody who has been a leader in Africa has had an unsavory past in some way, shape, or form. But okay. it needs to be discussed if she is nominated. Okay, so Ron, I was talking about John McCain. I called you John. Sorry again for calling you uh, John. <laughs> oh, no, so no, Ron, no you mentioned, you, you said what, what Senator John McCain was not satisfied about. So okay. then what does Susan Rice have to do to prove herself to people like John McCain and Lindsey Graham? Well, you know, I mean, she's she's come across as a very uh, aggressive and and somewhat and, and, a, and a partisan uh, person who's been carrying water for the administration. I think she needs to be a very thoughtful person when she's going through these. Uh, if she is nominated, going through the confirmation hearings because it's going to be very dicey. I mean, this is becoming radioactive. I mean, she's not hasn't even been nominated, and we're seeing all these problems and these questions regarding it now. In terms of Senate Democrats, if I were a Senate Democrat, I would be frustrated because one of their own, Senator John Kerry, is standing in the wings. And I don't think they want to get into a battle over Susan Rice. I think they would much rather have John Kerry because they know who he is. Okay. Maria, same question. What does she have to do then? 
Well, here's here's the frustration. I'll say what, what she has to do. But here's the frustration with, with this whole discussion. The focus is so much on what she said or didn't say, whether she carried the party line or not. Can we remember another Secretary of State named Rice who actually did carry the party line that took us into unnecessary war? So when Republicans focus on that, I think it's a little bit uh, hypocritical. The second thing is, if we really want to focus on what happened in Benghazi, attacking Susan Rice does not get to the heart of what happened in Benghazi. She had nothing to do with what happened in Benghazi. Let's talk about the talking points if that's what they want to talk about. Let's talk about the CIA and whether there was a flap there with the talking points. But focusing on, on Susan Rice does not get us to where we need to be on fixing the problems that we have so that a Benghazi never occurs again. Maria Cardona and Ron Bonjean, thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, John. So All righty. If the United States goes over the fiscal cliff, we're all going to feel it, even at our nation's airports. Flying could change, and very likely, not in a good way. People have doubts about taking aspirin for pain, but they haven't experienced extra strength Bayer advanced aspirin. In fact, in a recent survey, 95% of people who tried it agreed that it relieved their headache fast. Visit fastreliefchallenge.com today for a special trial offer. You know how painful heartburn can be. For fast, long-lasting relief, use doctor-recommended Gaviscon. Only Gaviscon forms a protective barrier that helps block stomach acid from splashing up, relieving the pain quickly. Try fast, long-lasting Gaviscon. Hello, I'm an Idaho potato farmer. A while back, we sent out a truck and crew to tell folks about our 75th anniversary. And we haven't seen hide nor hair of them since. Here's the description. It's about 70 feet long, bright red, and has our name, Idaho potatoes, painted all over it. Oh, 